All right, welcome back to episode three of my Fallout 4 permadeath, uh, max difficulty, survival, whatever you want to call it. The hardest playthrough that I could think of while still making my character an absolute mammo. So um, I decided to start this episode off by going to the end of the bridge and uh, grabbing that money. So we're basically going to be going down there. Now, usually what I would do, which I actually might do right here, I might just give it a go. Let's see if we can... Okay, so I missed that shot, which stinks a little bit, but since it's uh, foggy, I'm probably going to just stay away from over there. Yeah, I can't see... I can't see a damn thing. Maybe I'll be able to... Uh... Is that the other turret? Damn! I think it is the other turret. Okay, now I officially can't see a damn thing. So anyways, uh, I'm not going to snipe for this part. And uh, if you missed if you missed the end of last episode, which I'm sure some of you did, I accidentally got three laser pistols from these gunners over here and then decided to destroy them all because I have a habit when I just see weapons in my inventory and I'm at a workbench, I just kill them all. Kill them all. What am I saying? Destroy them all. But anyways... I'm going to show y'all in this episode how to go about the safest way in um, killing all the people in this whole base. So this will probably be the first instance of us utilizing Psycho Jet as well. And we actually have a good chance to get good armor from right here. Okay, and we got bullshit. So enjoy. But yeah, this is the back entrance into the federal, federal ra uh, ration stockpile. And really that's just fancy lingo for a whole bunch of raiders and so yeah so i'm going to show you this this is a one of probably the second most dangerous bat or third most dangerous battle in the early game but i'm going to show you exactly how to absolutely maul these guys okay so then you're going to want to come in here and then red Tourette's the one that's really, really dangerous. And I don't really know where the other person is. However, I do know that there's a turret over here. And I think we got rid of everybody. So yeah, that's that's the that's the power of this uh, build. And then you want to grab the permanent sneaking bonus, which is totally whatever it does. And we can grab the the password. Sorry, I couldn't remember the word. It's a very tough word. The word password's difficult for me. And, uh, yeah. Now we can go ahead and fly on through here. Do I need any of this stuff? And sorry in advance if you hear a train in the background. The train's been going hard as a mofo in the background all day. So that's been super fun. Super good fun times. Nothing good. We got some hunting rifle, though, if you like hunting rifle. I can't remember what is a what does the battery have? I think it actually might have acid and stuff. Holy cow, I couldn't even remember what it's called. Where is it? Damn big battery. Makeshift battery. Lead and acid. Lead's okay, acid's pretty good. We don't really have much that we need to boost up in that regard, but that's fine. Alright, let's eat some food. Okay, where's our, yeah, let's just make, let's do that and then drink some agua. What the? There you are. And, yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really too worried about muffled treated. Okay, I might take that actually. Let's see, because I do need, I think, one limb. Let me just go fact check this real quick. Okay. Okay, I guess somebody on the other, on the other side of that door just threw that at me. I want to go fact check this real quick that I can't make... Oh my god, I'm in combat. You son of a bitch. All right, so they're chucking Molotovs, which is pretty not ideal. Come on, it's over. They must have run out. You can relax. 
Like, doesn't hear me. Bye bye. This is another relatively dangerous room. Not super dangerous, but there's some danger to it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unlock this door since we have the password. And because I can. Oh, wow. Pocket enameled metal right leg. Don't mind if I do. Wait, was that the right thing? Oh, it wasn't. I'll just keep it on anyways. How about that? How about that? How about I'll learn my lesson later on because I'm not really upgrading anything anyways. But my point in doing that was because I'm trying to see... I'm trying... Oops. I'm trying to see if I can get that to be padded. And if I can get it to be padded, that'd be good news bears as opposed to bad news bears. Which is, things are usually bad news bears when it comes to this game. Okay, so be careful not to trick or trip, trip this mine. You can also die from this person as well. That person can be dangerous. Damn. That thing is taking a beating. But yeah, you're starting to see the power of automatic weapons in this game, coupled with a good, reliable rifle. <laughs> and you're going to do big damage. Oh, show. What do we got over here? Nuclear material. Circuitry. Don't mind if I do. I'm actually just wrecking my uh, ammo, slowly but surely. So that's good times. These should be about the last enemies in this area. Now I do know that there's a chance. There's a chance of finding a combat rifle in here is my first thought. My second thought is that uh, those guys can throw grenades. I know for a fact I've had a grenade thrown at me before, so be careful about that. Just keep a, keep a keen eye out for all that nonsense. That's it. Oh yeah, I might as well take that as well. Okay, kind of weird. Two novice locks right next to each other. But I'll take it. Got it. Yeah, so this episode we're going to go through this area, but we're also going to go grab a laser pistol, hopefully. If you're using um, power armor, there's another fusion cell, fusion core, fusion cell. We have plenty of fusion cells. Fusion cores are what I'm talking about. I'm trying to talk about, but I'm a, once again, I'm the town jester, absolute fool. So sometimes I don't say what I mean. Anywho, um, I'll take all of that. That sounds like a good time. Keep taking the aluminum. And the aluminum, I trust. Sentinel's metal right arm. There's a combat rifle. Okay, so we're finally starting to get our upgrades for our character. Now, Sentinel's is unbelievable. So actually, what I could do is I could go tap those upgrades and then stick them on the sentinels sentinel is basically makes you impervious to damage when you're not moving so it can be absolutely broken but oh son of a gun that is not what i wanted anywho so right arm What's my right arm right now? Okay, let me just look at this myself, so. Oh, I see. Strengthened shadowed metal left leg. Muffled enameled. What the hell's the difference? 10 and five. Okay, why don't I just go look in the the old armor workbench and figure all this good stuff out. This is part of it, unfortunately. Not unfortunately, I like seeing the upgrades, it's a good time, but... 
Okay, so Sentinel's right arm. So our right arm right now has pocketed, which I will take, as well as enameled. So is enameled better than... Okay, shadowed's better. Very nice. Okay, now to make that easy on me, I'll do that. Now our left arm... Okay, no, left leg. Now we gotta look at left leg. So shadowed is better than enameled. Oh, why don't I just... Oh, because I, I can create that. I see what's going on here. Shadowed metal. Yeah, why don't I just do that? Makes sense to me. Because muffled is really deep, but... I don't really care for that because we're not really sneaking around and stuff. And then our right leg... Sh strengthened, reduces limb damage, that's fine. Metal right leg... Okay, I might as well throw that on there. And do that little thingamajig. And I might as well do that. And I might as well do that, since we're finding all sorts of stuff. So everything should be pocketed just about, except this thing. This is not pocketed. Now it's pocketed. Is this lead line? You can you can make that pretty crazy actually. We also have our level up. What was I using the level up on? Somebody remind me. Let's see, our level up was gonna be used. Was I saving it for something or did I just hit it? I don't exactly remember. Oh yeah, it was gonna be Lone Wonder and Science, isn't that right? Genius. Okay. So once I hit 17, I'll be able to get both of those. Then we'll be really chilling. So this is what I got. I got absolute green bean. All sorts of good stuff. Cool. And I think I've said it before, but whiskey is muy bueno. Very good. And then there's a lot of mines over this way, actually. So what I would do, I would just go ahead and shoot them. Because you can't use vats on them like you used to be able to. That guy got blown up by the mines. Which is cool. I don't really mind that. So, actually, it would have been good if I would have picked up all the 45 ammo as well. I'm kind of wasting time right now, aren't I? Oh well, we don't have the 45 ammo, but we'll get we'll get ample amounts of it later on. And I might as well. This is a bad idea. I already know it is. Okay, so my frag mines are already equipped. It's cool with me. I am gonna sneak out of here just see if I can get the drop on these guys. <clears throat> All right, loading screen. We meet again. As long as we don't freeze, I'm, I'm really fine. Cool. That dog can actually do pretty decent damage to you. So be careful with that. I'm actually going to go run over here. Oh my god. Where'd all my health go? And why did I not heal? What's going on right now? What the hell? Oh, nice. Oh, I leveled up. <laughs> Look at that survival. Jeez Louise, I'm an idiot. Oh, is that a... Power armor wielder? Get wrecked, kid. Yeah, let's loot in the middle of combat. Good idea, James. Okay, so once again, I can't really see anything. 
We meet again, lack of vision. Hell hit me. Damn. These guys are hitting me like a damn truck. I'm not really showing off this build too well right now. Okay, now we're out of combat, so thank God about that. I should have actually gone and used my uh, Psycho Jet when things hit a wall, but oh well. I made my decision, made my bet, I gotta lie in it. Okay, no 45 ammo, some Braxo, there's some 45, there's some 44 for some pretty much money and of course it clears up as soon as you know, it's poetic as soon as I killed everybody everything's clear because of course it is and now I can loot the area which there's not gonna be like a ton to loot but now we kind of have a good idea of like how not bulky this character is right now I keep forgetting our endurance is not very high and I about paid the price for that one. The reason I started just running around all willy-nilly like a chicken with my head cut off is because uh, it's better to stay moving than stay stagnant. That's when they start hitting you with the fun stuff like uh, like Molotovs and Frags. and That's bad news bears. So I'll go ahead and level up actually. I would have been smart to do this a second ago because you take 30% less damage and you increase your carry weight. So I really just care about increasing carry weight and then we'll boost science up. So now, once we get this uh, elusive laser pistol, I'll be able to upgrade it as much as I please. Okay, yeah, this is where we fought that old guy. And then car hinge is, where is it? What was I just standing by? Oh, this is the doctor actually. Let me go talk to her. So very rarely will you see her just standing out there. Usually she's in this super radiated area and that's not fun. But right now she's taking less than uh Yeah. See what Um yeah, I'll cure my radiation for now. This is one of the very few ways you can cure radiation without taking uh, other, you know, negatives with it. Was there anything else bothering you? And I might as well cure my health. You never know. I think it'll clear my or cure my limbs as well. And if not, that's okay. It's 15 caps. Money's not very valuable in this game. Um, nothing. Hey there. If you need fix it up, let's get right. Okay, so we are still taking radiation while we talk to her. So it was almost like we didn't get anything done with that. So that's nice. Wow, that is horrible aid right now. Holy crap. It's some of the worst I've ever seen out of her. It's really bad. Um, so, oh, I should have used great mentats. I'll save those great mentats, actually, because we have stuff to buy later on. Not too later on, though. What's down here, actually? What was the... Excels are amazing. Okay, why don't I sell all this stuff? And we probably have some money floating around here. Yeah, pretty much. That's not what I wanted to give away. Sorry, y'all bear with me here. I'm gonna just get all this done. Plastic, no thanks. Actually, I might need the plastic. You never know for coming up here when we upgrade our new weapon. And we lost a little bit. That's okay, though. Now, this is an unmarked location, but we could go up here. So, I suppose I will. Now, there's another random location that you can um, 
find over to the left of this and you can actually run into a minefield so be careful with that it's a nice little idiot savant One. Okay. Whoa. Oh, there's a lag still. One thing I would be careful of is uh, you're going to face some gunners actually up here. And they're going to have the high ground. And then there's Yao Guai over to the right. I don't think that Yao Guai will probably aggro on us from over here. But this is not going to be a very fun fight for me. Let's see, maybe I can hit her right in the chest from right. Oh, thank God that hit. I took a bad shot. Mm, that wasn't ideal. Could this car will explode if I'm not careful as well? Nice. Oh, that was just a terrible shot. Okay, and they have grenades too, so I'm actually going to fall back. And worst comes to worst, I can always, always use a psycho jet. So I might end up doing something like that. Oh, of course, I ran into some more enemies. Son of a gun. Where are they? You son of a bitch. Get out of here. Y'all are not welcome. Am I safe? Oh, I'm safe right now. Okay, I might as well abuse that ability and just save or, or not save. What am I saying? Use purified water. Yeah, no saving. Oh, come on. Got her. You shit me. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to fall all the way back here. Take out Yuld and Laser Musket. God, because we have no explosives resistance. Who is she? she? Who is she attacking right now? Is she attacking the... Oh my god, is she really... She's attacking the Yao Guai. I'm going to allow her to do that. She's an idiot. She might aggro it on me. I guess not. Doink. Goodbye. For some reason, the uh, Yao Guai didn't aggro on her, which I'm not complaining about. She might have killed it. This is not like the weakest enemy in the game, I'll tell you. Okay, there is a stunned one right there. Yeah, I can just keep doing this. Uh, dirty army fatigues are probably better than what we have. Let me just make sure it's not... What the hell is it? You can actually find a pretty common uh, legendary enemy out of that area. Okay. I don't know what that Yao Guai is doing, but at least we did a little bit of damage to it. Um... Also grab all the laser ammo. Fusion cells is really what it's called, not laser ammo. Genius. And head on. I'll keep some of this stuff. Damn, it really sucks having this bad of a uh, laser rifle. Laser musket, I should say. Please be standing there. Okay. Whatever. I'll fight that battle a little bit later. I don't really need to right now. And actually, there's always dogs over here, too. Don't. 
doink. That's fine. If it wants to come up on me, it can. Uh, and then there's a chance to actually find roving... Roving, sorry. Roving um, gunners over here, so be, be very careful. Okay, it's gonna come all the way to me. I'll just wait for it so I can take its stuff. Now we're actually kind of pretty far from any weapons workbench, so we won't be able to upgrade our weapon for a little bit, but probably need to go back to Red Rocket before we get get into doing any of that. Let's see, sometimes they'll rove down there, sometimes sometimes not. Luckily for me, I have the high ground relatively. Okay, at least they don't have a Soltrons at this level in the game. So that's nice. Okay, like, come on now, that hit. Alright, let's strafe. Do not. I thought he was about to pull a Molotov out, you sick son of a bitch. Okay, I almost ran off the edge of that. I don't think that would have killed me, but you never know unless you try. That's what they always say. Nice. Oh, shit. Okay, I was itching my torso while I was shooting him in that. It's like that was a good idea. So yeah, that's that's where my head's at right now. This is another place you can actually get a sniper rifle. I forgot about that. Um, let's see, how much better is our chest piece? Quite a bit. So now we're done with one of the most dangerous areas of the game. Thank God. And now we can actually head over here. And this is a good bed for this area of the game. Um, it's pretty much... Anyways, it's pretty much the only bed within like a pretty far radius of uh, this location. So yeah, it helps to uh, have it. So I'm just, Sweet. yeah, guess through all that. I'm not very good at doing those and I don't really try at them either. So yeah, my head's always right there. Just not wanting to do it at all. So yeah, there's our bed for this portion of the map. And now we have an, our, our invisible gun out, out, so we should be good to go. She'll actually have some uh, ammo here coming up. Where's the other blood bugs? Nice. Come on. Oh, please don't kill me. Okay, I thought I was dead for a second. You never know if you're going to die until they like come off of you too. So that's a fun part of that. And that's pretty much it. I thought there was a med kit down here. Am I out of my mind? I don't know. I don't know. I tried. Pipe revolver pistols use 45 ammo too. So if you ever are thinking about picking one up, I'd do it. No, I don't want the Molotov cocktail. Let's go talk to her. <clears throat> Last playthrough, I took her antibiotics and she got mad at me, so that's a good time. Okay, nothing too crazy. Let's see, do you have anything that is just so good? This is pretty good. I'll take her Oliver adhesive as well, so let me actually start back. 
fiber optics, those are good. Fiber optics are actually really good. Mm, I don't really need fire or any of that. Dang, no antibiotics though, because we can create our own, I guess. But okay, so and she has all this stuff, um, and we got all the ammo we want. Oh no, we didn't. What am I talking about? Let's see. Oh, I totally should have used some uh, grape grape mintats. So actually, let me cancel this trade in progress, and I'll use some grape mintats. That'll help us. Yeah, sorry about keeping this in, but it's all part of it. Rest easy knowing that oh, wait. Game is rotting in hell. I thought I saw somebody. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see what you have. It's all worth it. Okay, I'm going to give her, first off, I'm going to give her everything that I have that I don't really need. And everything else I pretty much need. I don't really need these. I'll give her my grenades. That, that's just a good way to get off of things that uh, are just a temptation. Okay. But other than all of that, there aren't going to be many drugs that I just simply want to give away. Because we use stim packs to create things. And... Okay, so why don't I be a little bit more selective with what I'm grabbing. Ammo is going to be expensive, so I'm going to stay away from the ammo. And instead, I'll grab things that are really rare. Like, that's pretty rare. That's going to be rare. That's good to grab. These are good to grab. And then I can grab a little bit more ammo. So I'll grab the 45 ammo. Uh, I'll just grab it all. How about that? Hopefully we're not over encumbered. I could totally see us being over encumbered and we're not. Very nice. And then actually Trash Can Carlo is going to be up here as well. So we're going to have to um, make the decision to either buy her stuff too or not. But once again, if you have money, my um, advice is to spend it whenever you can because there aren't that many ch chances to do so in this game and when there are they're really not that like good options generally so that's where my head's at whenever I see a vendor those are raiders I'm just gonna kill them before they throw a Molotov at me and take me out and then I'll go take their stuff let's see what our carry weight's at not even close so yeah I'm gonna take all their stuff and then sell it all. I don't know if any of this will actually be worth anything, but it'll be better than having nothing, I suppose. Okay. And then off screen, I don't think I said this, but I filled up water balls and cooked food. So yeah, if you notice that we don't have a lot of something, that's probably where it went. A lot of our carry weight got dealt with too. Hello. <clears throat> so what's your story? Looking to trade? Rock I've never said I'm trying to uh, or threaten her. Sure. I don't know what happens if you do, but I'm sure it's not too fun. So I need to put on the dirty army fatigues. That's going to give us bonus uh, strength and agility. It's not the final undergarment we're looking for, but it's pretty good. Take some bourbon, give it to her. Any other alcoholic beverage or anything? I'm not so sure. Gold, if she has gold, that'll actually be helpful to grab. Grab some duct tape, gold watch. I know that the gold's good for upgrades when it comes to laser weapons and things of that sort. Should be good on crystals, right? But just in case we're not, I'm going to keep grabbing them. Any 
interesting. And vegetable starch, that's great. Okay, so now I'll just use the rest of my ammo on that. And how much is that worth? Four. And we have 22. That'll work. Okay, now we're poor as dirt, but that's okay. So I'll go ahead and put on our dirty armored fatigues and we gain 10 pounds of carry weight. Not bad. And then over by this house right here, we're gonna find some more stuff, which will, it's actually generally, a, okay, not a hat this time. Actually, the newsboy cap is charisma, isn't it? Yep, and you could use that for um, the ballistic weave, but I prefer the green rag hat because that gives a minor boost in defense to uh, ener energy resistance. Okay, I thought I heard a raider scream at me, but I guess not. So yeah, now we're pretty much, al uh, we're almost done with this area. We still need to search through the left side of this town. I forgot one house in the back side as well, but we're almost there. And we should be able to finish up the sanctuary quest as well. And then we need to look through this area, the quarry. Got a little bit more to do before we're out of this area. Maybe an episode or so. Probably two episodes and I bet we're, we're done with this. So off screen, I guess I'll fill up bottles. Okay, so now we get to upgrade our laser pistol. Okay, so this is the best one, but we're gonna have to go with this for now. And then, oh my gosh, we need to get more fiber optics and fiberglass. So why don't I tag those for search? But for now, should I use, I guess I'll just keep it on me just to uh, improve our, God, we need a lot of fiberglass. I guess fiberglass is the name of the game now. Okay, we need reflex sight. Damn, we don't have nearly anything we need. Fine-tuned superior range. Yeah, okay, so this is the one we're going for next. So we need just a bunch of fiberglass is all this is telling me. Um, now this is gonna be our sniper. And I don't think we're gonna get, I don't think we're gonna get Gun Nut 3 for quite a while. Let's see, when are we getting Gun Nut 3? We might never get it, so how about I just do that? Get a long barrel on there. Get a short scope on there. Okay, we don't have enough adhesive for a large magazine, but that's okay. And we couldn't even get any of that stuff anyways. So now that we have that, we can actually go ahead and retire our laser musket. Thank you for your service, laser musket. What am I doing right now? That's what I was doing. I knew what I was doing, see? Okay, let me first unfavorite this laser musket because we don't really... That's not what I wanted. And I will go ahead and, and y'all comment down below if y'all have any uh, suggestions for weapon names and things of that sort because I'm still, those are still up for grabs. Okay, so now we can go finish up the Good Springs quest. Let's see, I, I wanna make sure I grab everything we need because we probably dropped a bunch of junk didn't we? Ballistic fiber is good. Okay, so we had gold bars here. That's interesting. Hmm. Should be fine without all that. So yeah, I'm gonna go finish up this Good Springs quest and then we should be pretty much good to go. 
And honestly, I could probably do the Good Springs quest off screen because there's not much going for it. Okay, so we just got a level two. Um, so what do I want to do with this? Do we have Rifleman 3 yet? We do have Rifleman 3. Why don't I do Rifleman 3? Because now we're going to snipe even harder. So yeah, um, how about off screen? I finish up this quest. I'm going to probably report back to Preston. Or no, no. I have to give food to this place and stuff. So I'm going to fill up water bottles, um, cook food. No, I'm not going to do that. How about I don't do it off screen? I can go a little bit longer. How about that? Yeah, I need to put some food down that we have. I'm gonna assign somebody to it. Okay, so we got our food finally. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Mm -hmm. Trouble is, what we need is to get some defenses. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. Okay, so I think I set up a turret already, didn't I? Or did I not? I want to trade a few things. I guess I didn't. I thought I did that off screen. Perhaps I didn't. Perhaps I forgot. Oh my god, we need oil. That sucks. Okay, so yeah, I'll just not do that for now. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, I think. Uh, let's check inside here. Let's see if we have any. Yeah, we have some more ammo. Actually, you know what we could do? Oh, fiberglass. That's what we need. The old fiberglass shuffle. I do need to do some of this action. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, I probably should have gone here first because, yeah, I don't have any way to make or fresh beverages, which are really good. And I think we... I think we... I guess we... Never mind, we don't. So yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Off screen, I'll fill up water, do some cooking, and yeah, we'll do this area in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Peace out.